name is Josh from the band The Skints. Here with the big homie, original Killer Keller. Can you show us around the place? Huh? Yeah, about to show you our bus. So, secret code. So we've got the secret code, otherwise, hey, 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 the secret code. You can't just go and look at it. Welcome, there's not much light right now. We've gone for some mood lighting. This is the bunk area. This is where we sleep. This is where I sleep. This is usually when we roll in at about three or four in the morning. I say, okay, I should probably go to sleep. Down here. Mud cons. Yeah, down here, you know, we've got like a really um, functional, tidy kitchen area today. It's in our fridge. Soy milk, central. It's front lounge, okay? Yeah. The driver, Paul, he sleeps below here. Which means you've got to be really quiet up here. Yeah, this is where you think, you bring your acoustic guitar and you think, wow. Mm. I really did used to sit in a van for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, we're all here then, let's ask you some questions. Okay, cool. Okay, so, for, I've got these written down. They come from people from outside and they're, 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 these are questions that, you know, are in our top top 12 okay. that we think deserve answering. Nice. Right, so first question, why are you called The Skints? I mean, anyone from the UK will know that The Skints as a band name is grammatically incorrect. When I was 15 years old, I thought it sounded like a cool name for a punky ska band. So you were the, the first creator of it? I, I, I created the name nice. and yeah, still don't like it, but your name's <laughs> your name, isn't it? So, um, Who is the most skint out of the band? Who doesn't bring in the beers? I say maybe me, maybe me. I feel like I have the most monthly outgoing, the biggest like domestic cost out of everybody. See the rock star shit, you see, you know what I mean? Extracurricular, see, that's that's a word that's quite common in these band situations. Oh bro, 100%. <laughs> the man. side hustle is real out here. Yeah. Um, three vocalists in the band. Yes. And uh, one minivan, up until now, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so, which one of the three would you give? Would you not bring if there wasn't enough room? I'll probably have the worst <laughs> voice out of the three singers. You volunteer out. Yeah. yeah I'm tapping so, out, so guys. I would, I would probably tap out. We all know the term, um, what uh, plays in the field stays in the field. Okay. Give me an example of that. Uh, no, what do you mean? Like what? Tour. On the, on tour? Oh, bro, we're boring now, man. I mean, you. 10 years ago, wild. Should we go to the front? Let's go sure. to the front. Yeah, well, we're in the front, so I think oh, we're yeah, going to the back. The okay. There's our tour manager, Tom Clinkard. Yeah, uh, Any good tour stories? Anything? Any juicy gossip? Oh, I get paid not to say. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> what the real that's money right goes. Answer. That's where the real money goes. That's the money. <laughs> that's the money answer there. That's why he's been with us for nine years. Uh, let's see what's going on on the stage. Come on. Oh my goodness. I can't see what's happening. Is that is that Reap's one? 
Oh, mate. Where's that? That's, I think, is that looks like the gaff on the Holloway Road, RIP. Holy shit. What was that, 10 years ago? Yeah, crazy, man. Crazy. Dude. Old school shit. The funny thing is, as well, at that point, we'd, like, we'd probably be doing gigs with Harry for, like, three years or something. But that's still that now. It's like so. It's like ten years ago. It was mental. Yeah, big up reach one. Well, that was an awesome show. Can't see the skins and inside we have on the lead vocalist and instrumentalist Marty. Like, Put fire around, okay? Nice and quick. A, B, or C. First question. The Skins highlight of 2019 was an interview on BBC Radio One Extra with David Rodigan. David's first music job in 1978 was at Radio London with Tony Williams. What programme did he host? A. Reggae Rockers. B. Rocking Rulers. Or C. Reggae Reggae Talks. I'm going to go with A. Ooh! Yay, yeah, she got it! <laughs> Reggae Rockers! Question number two. Jamie, your drummer, yeah. he has the longest hair. How does he keep his hair so vibrant? Is it A, Timothy? Is it B, head and shoulders? Or is it C, dove off the tour bus? Hmm. Seeing these repeatable things on his hair, sometimes he just leaves it and it's that nice. I'm you gotta go, say it to me, man. I'm gonna go with dove off the tour bus. Oh my god, she got it! That's correct, it's ladies and gentlemen. It's not that soft. Yeah. We spoke to your tour manager, Tom. Yes. And he says the TV show that is always playing after oh. the fact that you've fallen asleep in the living room of the tour bus is A. Dr. Phil. B. The Office. Or C. Babe Station. <laughs> well, it's The Office. Yay, there go! How was it, John? It was fucking amazing. Yeah, just hometown show. Mm. Unbelievable. It's, it's mad, isn't it, when yeah. you get into those zones of like, it's your hometown, how do we deal with this? Do we do we over, you know, analyse it too much or, yeah. you know? I think when it's like a support show like today where it's not your headline, when it's a lot easier just to kind of relax and be like, not with the pressures on us. Yeah. yeah. Interrupt, just kind of doing the job for the interrupters of warming them up and people know us and it's familiar.